you put your hands together now. Stamp your feet to make some noise. Give us an R.A.D. Rumble to run the back. That's the from a young force to the field of play for the top. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the field of play. Shooting on target number one and representing the United States of America, it is Matt Stutzman. <laughs> and on target two, his opponent. Shooting and representing Finland. It is Jere Forsberg. judge for this gold medal match is Christiane Merkin. So, Stutzman versus Forsberg for a gold medal and it will be the archer from America shooting first. First arrow is away in the goal with an eye. Forsberg set up there again. It's the target at the turn. Second arrow, he's a turn. Course, but second arrow's away, he a turn. Last arrow of the set, and it is a test. A ten wins the set for Forsberg, and he finds it. Ten, ten, ten. And that's a really good set for Finland. Into the open set. Catch up again on target number one, shooting first. First arrow scores a nine. Four straight tens with 
first four arrows. Second arrow along the line. Who's next? Also, yeah. a minor turn for the old sister of Finland. Seven better takes the set. It's a line. 29 points for the overall third of Finland. Can't quite manage six successive tens with his first six arrows. But brilliant shooting from the man from Finland, and it will take him into a four set point to zero lead here of the Royal Artillery Barracks. Ladies and gentlemen, fantastic archery you can see. Give us a cheer if you're here supporting Finland. Yeah. Are you here for the United States? Almost on top of the first, we'll have a nine. And there you go, right on the line there, it's a turn for the old horse turn. Seven points for the old Forsberg, what can he do in reply? Off the line. It's empty. Second arrow is away, also in goal to him, back to nine. Oh, 
Sends his final arrow down almost on top of his second arrow at nine. They hit 26 points. But yet, in fourth third of Finland, so Matt Stutzman with 28 points. And all three arrows in the goal means that he takes this set, did what he needed to do, forces big set. And he will take another two points. Score with three set points to Max Dutchman of the United States, five set points to Gary Forsberg Finland. So Charlie Forsberg only needing a draw in this final set to see the gold medal position. Absolutely. It's a gripping final. Forsberg still in the driver's seat. The arrows are returned to the Two arches, and we are about to get this final set underway. Will we have a shoot off for goal? We'll have to wait and see to do that. But we must win this set. And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this fifth and final set. And Matt Stutzman will shoot first on target number one. And he responds perfectly with that. Look at that turn. Such a fine line. Look at that. 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 Look at that.
medals will be presented by Karpo Ahimaki of the Minister of Culture and Sport of Finland. Director of Brand Marketing and Culture for Lopal. Your bronze medalist representing Turkey, Dohan Hanju. Your silver medalist represented the United States of America, Matt Stutzman. Please rise for the national anthem of Finland.
Matt Stutzman. São Alvo tem o gatilho preso ao seu lado direito do corpo. Ou seja, ele é um arqueiro canhoto, que usa a perna direita para sustentar o arco, mas que dispara com o lado direito do corpo. Marca 10 pontos mais, Matt Stutzman. E agora Matt Stutzman com sua última flecha dessa disputa. Preparado então, Matt Stutzman. 9. Vitória de Matt Stutzman, 142 a 129. Pontuações extra-oficiais. Mas com diferença suficiente na pontuação para garantir a vitória, Matt Stutzman. Parabéns aos dois arqueiros. Quando eu era mais jovem, eu tinha muitos sonhos. Eu queria ser um BMX rider, e eu ia fazer backflips e todas as coisas de stuff. And I remember telling my dad that I'm going to be the next Michael Jordan. Back when Michael Jordan was just the king. Steel, he kept it in bounds. Here it is again. Oh! There was no way I was going to be Michael Jordan. No way. I'm not tall enough, right? But the one thing that caught my attention the most was cars and drive it with my feet and outrace 90% of the people around me. The car doesn't stereotype the driver. Like, it doesn't care if you have arms or don't have arms. It just wants to be driven. That's why I fell in love with archery. A bow just wants to be shot. People are always going to stare. People still stare to this day, you know. So, at a young, like around eight, I guess, um, seven or eight, is when I really was like, I don't care what people think of me anymore. I don't, I don't care that I'm funny looking or different. I don't care that they're staring. And and I really took that mindset into pretty much everything else in my life, which led me today to here I am. And that was because my parents instilled that in me when I was little. So um, in the past, I've done documentaries and stuff like that, or interviews or, or videos. But this one, they really allowed me to be me. Um, if I wanted to be funny, I could be funny. If I you know, wanted to do something specific, you know, they were very open about just showing the world who Matt Stutzman was. And to get that opportunity is pretty amazing. And to have it in such a film like that, um, makes it even better. Jean Baptiste, right? That is a powerful story. You know, people say to me all the time, like, we can't imagine what it's like to have no arms. Well, in fact, he actually made me think, like, why am I in this? Why am I in this film? Because he had it way worse than I did, right? And look what he's done. I can't imagine going through what he went through. And for me, like that, that was my favorite story. What he told and how he told it for me is what motivated me and, and was the most powerful when I watched it. Like after I was done watching, I wanted to go find the guy and give him a hug and then <laughs> let's go compete. I actually, when I watched the, the preview of the film, <laughs> when it got to the end, it was so awesome. It, it's, it's cool because it ends, it's like the very last scene is the you have this silhouette or this clay sculpture of me and it fades out and then it's just like music just like, blam you're like whoa <laughs> it's cool i just hope people just have a different perspective um about even their own life right so let's say you're just somebody sitting at home watching the the film 
and you've been struggling with things, whatever, and you see this film and you see what all the athletes and, and not even the athletes, just everybody in the film and what they had to overcome to get to the point of life where they're at. And it changes, like, I hope it changes the way they look at themselves a little bit. Um, maybe it motivates them to work harder at their job or treat people better. Um, or when they see somebody with a physical disability, you know, give them some like respect who they are and, and give them a different view of who they can be.